हेलो फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार दोस्तों वेलकम टू मार्केट अपॉर्चुनिटीज विद एस डी बेसिकली मैं आ, देखने वाला हूँ आप लोगों के साथ मार्केट को और कैसा आ रहा अपॉर्चुनिटीज व्हाट काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रीम्स हम लोग सोच सकते हैं व्हाट इज द मार्केट टॉकिंग टू अस इट्स अ क्विक अप्रोच टू डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एसेट क्लास सो लेट स्टार्ट आई यू मस्ट ऑल बी नोइंग की मैं अपना सेटअप को इस्तेमाल करूंगा दैट इज द फाउंटेन ऑफ गोल्ड विच इज क्लियरली ब्यूटिफुल सेटअप एंड टॉक्स टू मी tells me about the market structure talks to me about the opportunities give me trades and everything so i am fully dedicated to this uh, i can clearly see that the copper is bullish ek initially correction ka attempt hua tha jo 125 minutes chart mein first hum log na thoda commodity se chalu kiye hain uh, because these commodities despite kal ek data aaye the uh, that is the us uh, strong inflation side pce inflation data jo bond interest rate ko influence kiya and triggered a sell off of selling pressure in equities do equities are uh, recovered at the end of the day but there is a selling pressure there is a concern with the interest rate so we will talk about those in our weekend analysis but this is where we are after the correction we saw the correction uh after that there is a strong up move in copper this was the actual the original correction after that copper started coming back zinc gave a correction zinc me correction ke baad it gave a strong move uh, i'll prefer to this remain long with the zinc after correction again strength is coming back daily chart is very clear about base metals that base metals are strong not all base metals are firing in the same way aluminum after the strong rally it has somehow faded uh we are not seeing that kind of move but whereas copper and zinc are significantly these two base metals that are strong i'm waiting for a <clears throat> comeback in a gold and silver to go on the long side but currently as of now there is uh, there is uh, some come back but not enough for me to go long on the daily chart you have seen previously it was a beautiful ride now it was a partial exit wait patiently outside market clearly bull raha mujhe patiently outside waiting and i'll wait uh, for the market to be more decisive towards gold silver uh another one is crude oil crude oil ko dekhte hain chaliye crude oil uh, we are going to look at the daily chart it is a come back but will the will this be a buying i'm yet not sure the buy trade win probability is just around 39% or a comeback has been a bit stronger agar 125 minutes chart mein dekha jaye it is sustaining above a very strong level so one can go long with 83 dollar around as their stop loss as long as crude stays above this there is a good chance it will rise but look at the resistances as well 83.31 फिर जाके रेजिस्टेंस है 84, देन वी हैव 84.5, देन वी हैव ए फाइनल वन 85.32, 85.6 एरिया। इट कैन रीच दिस लेवल, बट ऑब्वियसली उतना स्मूथ राइड नहीं। लॉट ऑफ स्ट्रॉंग रेजिस्टेंसेस आर ऑन द वे, सो बम्पी राइड अप कुड बी द वन दैट इज रिमेनिंग फॉर क्रूड ऑयल। this is the main resistance 86 dollar that 86 dollar crude oil need to cross over uh, to become bullish again significantly bullish again aur uske interim 125 minute mein hum log already levels dekh chuke hain now comes natural gas natural gas is not that bullish aaj aap log ek jump zarur dekh rahe honge yahan pe but that is largely due to contract shift uh, in the new york mercantile exchange and this is natural gas broadly bearish its the fundamental is not so healthy so it is bearish the fundamental uh there especially on the inventory side koi bhi thoda sa bhi bullishness jo mujhe nazar aa raha tha that is towards euro abhi bhi aa raha hai so fundamentally so let's see kaisa uska follow up aata hai significantly abhi tak aisa koi follow up nahi hai jiske sath hum log uh, keh sakte hain ki yes fundamentally it has gone significantly bullish so natural gas remains bearish crude oil remains mixed opportunities remains on the buy side in the base metals gold silver remains in the mix uh, category now if we come to the international indices international indices after yesterday sell off look at the comeback 
that's a quite a strong comeback uh, uh, after yesterday's initial sell-off. So initially, I was planning to when I go for this short opportunity, but if the white cross was a warning, it was outside the candle all the time, except NASDAQ. At one point, it was within the NASDAQ, so I went short in NASDAQ. Now I had to square off before. I went short early, looking at a bit stronger move, and it was a sell resistance opportunity to give a short thumb as that, and as that may be recovery. And then I squared off partially, so obviously I wanted to enter again. So I did enter, it did not work out uh, by the end of the day, so I squared off NASDAQ. So currently, Dow, NASDAQ, S&P 500, they are in a mixed market situation. Na to ye bull ke hath mein, na to ye beer ke hath mein. Isi mein majority log maare jate hain. Am log fasenge nahi. We don't want to get stuck into this trade. So this strong bullish comeback is very noticeable. To mujhe dekhna hai ki ye noticeable comeback kahaan pe sab se zada nazar aa raha hai. Where it is mattering uh, the most. So here I can see, the New Zealand, there's a comeback. Australia, not so strong comeback, yet bearish. Japan, there is a comeback. Strong up 1% index, but it is not bullish yet. We don't have a, abhi tak koi full green candle, jo mere setup mein chahiye, wo bhi tak hai nahi. China strong. China bohat bar. China is the one that is strong. Weekly chart mein, I can see strength. So China ka jo exchange traded fund hai, MCHI, iShares China ETF. So this is interesting. It can come up. Agar China, this is a very strong resistance, which is around, say, after 8-9% gain is there from here. 8-9, 41, so the main resistances zone are 42, hai, 43, 44. And finally, 47. So, kai sare resistance on the way hai, but ek opportunity bhe hai. Agar by July, if it starts breaking from this area, then Chinese comeback, uh, hum log keh sakte hai, is very noticeable and strong. Or China ka comeback uh, can affect the Singapore as well. So, Singapore mein hum log bullish hai. Uh, last day, jo weakness dikha tha, equity market mein, it was not visible in china related china singapore uh, hong kong these are very much closely related to each other in ka equity market moves so hong kong has been strong so hong kong ka etf we can have a look uh, singapore has been strong singapore may already I, I, as per my recommendation we can have but kabhi bhi kisi ka recommendation pe trade mat kijiye khud chart dekhiye aur samjhiye and trade kijiye so here is Netherlands. Some look Netherlands. Ne, usually we prefer Italy, Spain. Italy did not work out despite the comeback. Here is a mixed market. Ibex strong. Tha. Kalam log exit kar liye. Mene exit kar liye. Ibex se it is struggling. I would like to have a strong another round of momentum breakover. Tab ja ke Ibex ne, we are going to enter again. This did not work out. France is my entry ka wait kar raha tha. It's Next day, it soured completely. Then Germany may entry Milani. So broadly, it did not work out. So Johan pe strength ho sakta hai, wahi pe rehna pasand hoga mujhe. So only in Europe, IBEX is strong, which is pain. Uh, other jo major indices hai, baki or bhi indices hai, but major indices, matlab Italy, Spain, France and Germany. And this is Euro stock 50, मतलब European जो blue chip index. This is the Euro stock 600. उसके ऊपर बस हम लोग focus करेंगे. So broadly they are not so healthy. अगर देखा जाए तो equity market जो main uh, global stock market का अगर fund है अगर देखा जाए it has been in a more bearish mode. So recent short term, mein, it's not despite a jump, despite the jump of 1% in NASDAQ, equities are still, no, has not given the confirmation, ki, yes, beers are, uh, bearish mode is over. It is giving a correction, in, it's giving a signal that is correcting, but yet to give a signal that yes, bearish pressure 
इज नाउ फुल्ली गॉन अभी अगर देखा जाए तो बाई ट्रेड विन सेल ट्रेड विन दोनों विन प्रोबेबिलिटीज आर इक्वल मोर ऑफ अ कॉन्सोलिडेशन का पिक्चर दिख रहा है now if we go to uh, currencies uh, obviously indian traders we cannot fully trade currencies right now but there are for those who are outside india you can fully trade currencies dollar index see, we have a full sell signal so dollar may jo mera fund parked hai I'll, that is one thing i'll consider in then mainly come back ho raha hai thoda bahut in the euro uh euro is a uh, very early buy signal so there is not much to act on this but if we are short or if we are where on long dollar this is a time to consider and square off last finally let's check our indices what nifty bank nifty are telling us so nifty we are going to take a look at the daily chart buy support sell resistance ye jo signal aa raha tha ki bears are not ready to give up so abhi bhi dikh raha hai bears are yet not ready to give up lag raha hai jaldi milne wala hai decision which side with the market will move towards but abhi agar dekha jaye it's more of a mixed buyers ke taraf hi thoda tilted hai market momentum buyer ke taraf पर अगर फर्दर कंटिन्यूएशन नहीं हो रहा है यहां से ब्रेकडाउन विल बी वेरी ब्रेकडाउन विल बी वेरी शार्प तो विल हैव टू केयरफुल इस जगह पे कि व्हाट्स वी शुड डू ऑन दिस लेट्स गो डू बैंक निफ्टी बैंक निफ्टी में भी देखा जाए सो इट वाज अ रिकवरी बट बियर्स आर येट नॉट रेडी टू गिव इन I don't have a full green candle despite the rise. That means price action yet not ready to turn for the bulls. Or momentum, if it has faded here, there will be sharper down move towards forty-eight thousand. Sorry, forty-six thousand eight hundred and eighty. Get there. So this is a uh, really not a very healthy sign. आप लोग careful रहिएगा कि this about this. Sudden downturn because bears are really not giving up. They are not really are uh, not ready to completely succumb. Whereas the volatility VIX is signaling yes, VIX जो है that is India VIX. Or if we look at the US VIX after the initial rise, VIX uh, is going lower. जो हमारे equity के लिए positive sign मान सकते हैं. बट दिस काइंड ऑफ वोलेटिलिटी के जो विक्स का वोलेटिलिटी है वो भी बढ़ा हुआ था वी विक्स बोलते हैं उसको एंड वी विक्स भी नीचे की तरफ जा रहा है सो दिस इज ओवरऑल ऐसा नहीं कि रिस्क बढ़ते जा रहा है दिस इज हैज टर्न मोर इनटू मिक्स मार्केट सिचुएशन और इन केस इन सब में अपना जो स्टॉक लिस्ट है दैट वी हैव शेयर्ड एट द बिगिनिंग बहुत सारे स्टॉक्स उसमें अभी भी दे आर गोइंग अप यू कैन सी इवन इन अ डाउन मार्केट लाइक दिस लॉर्ड ऑफ स्टॉक्स ऑब्वियसली सम आर नॉट डूइंग वेल दिस इज आवर ब्लू लिस्ट सो लॉर्ड ऑफ स्टॉक्स आर स्टिल डूइंग वेल एंड गोइंग अप सो हम लोग कैसे इन्वेस्ट रहना पसंद करेंगे हम लोग स्टॉक्स में रहना पसंद करेंगे मे बी हम लोग हेज खरीदना पसंद करेंगे आई पर्सनली डू नॉट लाइक हेज बट जिनको हेज करना पसंद है दिस कुड बी अ टाइम टू रिस्क आप थोड़ा हेजिंग जरूर करना चाहेंगे अनलेस वी गेट अ फुल ग्रीन सिग्नल फुल ग्रीन कैंडल इन द निफ्टी और इवन निफ्ट द निफ्टी 500 निफ्टी 500 क्लियरली बेहतर परफॉर्म कर रहा है देन निफ्टी और बैंक निफ्टी निफ्टी 500 इज ऑलमोस्ट यस इट हैज अ फुल ग्रीन कैंडल तो ऑब्वियसली स्टॉक्स आर इंडिविजुअली डूइंग बेटर whereas indices the blue chips are not so currently how we should be placed we should be placed on more on a individual stocks basis we should take some insurance on the commodity side we should expose ourselves toward base metals uh, we can use futures for that we can use exchange traded funds for that we will have to reduce our positions uh, towards dollar we will be careful on the international indices and our focus will be what is happening with the china comeback in addition to that or a trade bahut hi badhiya ja raha hai if you have been following uh, my uh, videos regularly 
is this one. This is the uh, long term interest rate. So, हम लोग long term interest rate को buy कर मतलब interest rate को long करने की बात किए थे by short in treasuries. So, short treasury trade or long interest rate trade, this is going well. Especially after yesterday's data, it is rising. And ये जो हमारे level, my my expected level है कि five percent around. If I look at the, this is actually the weekly chart. जिसको मैं फॉलो कर रहा हूं इन दिस वीकली चार्ट आई कैन सी दिस गोज एज आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग ऑब्वियसली इफ आई सी अ करेक्शन इफ आई सी अ रेड कैप आई एल एग्जिट माय ट्रेड माय ओपिनियंस विल नॉट ड्राइव माय ट्रेडिंग बट इफ आई एम राइट दिस इज अबाउट टू हिट द 5% लेवल एंड इफ इट ब्रेक्स हायर इट कैन एट दैट पॉसिबिलिटी आल्सो वी हैव डिस्कस now it is a i i consider it is a pretty scary scenario we uh, we i don't think we'll have fully anticipated this ke there is a possibility that this us rate will reach 6 6% or plus there is a possibility for that so if such and such happens that is not a scenario jiske sath many traders are familiar as a scenario scenario we have not seen in decades uh so that will be something to look at and china so currently where my focus is on three point aap log jante hain towards geopolitics one is towards geopolitics that is one counter second is this us threat and the third one is china these three are the major concern this is where i am focused for the global macro So thank you so much friends for watching this video if you if this helped you don't forget to like and subscribe all the best uh, to you and thank you again and as always happy trading